In this training, we will cover a variety of topics, including tips and tricks to navigate your home screen and expense pages, how to reconcile expenses in statement reports and in reimbursable reports, and we'll sprinkle in some frequently asked questions as we go along, including cross-charging, allocating or itemizing expenses, and adding attendees to group expenses. Then we'll take a look at the Expense It Receipt tool that is available within the mobile app, and we'll finish up with a couple of profile setting tips, including how to assign and manage your delegates. Now let's get started with your home screen features. From here, you can access your reports and expenses requiring attention from the taskbar at the top of the screen or under My Tasks near the bottom of the screen. Travelers can begin booking their next business trip by starting a trip search on the left side of the screen. The alerts and company notes sections can contain important information on your P card, upcoming travel, and communications specific to Learning Care Group. In the upper right corner, you can access your profile to update your preferences, contact information, and more. We'll touch on personalizing your profile settings later in this training. To reach the expense page, click on expense at the top of your home screen. The expense page provides quick access to your report library, available expenses, and available receipts. Your report library is defaulted to show your active reports, which includes reports that are not submitted or reports that are submitted and pending review. You can easily check the status of your active reports here. To view your archived reports, select the dropdown next to active reports and choose the relevant date range. Reports that have been returned by an approver will be highlighted in red in your report library. Click on the report tile to open the report and review the comment, then make the required changes before resubmitting. In the Available Expenses section of the Expense page, a list of open receipts and unassigned P-card transactions can be located. It's important to note the payment type listed for each of your available expenses. If the payment type is cash or pending card transaction, these are either receipts that were uploaded using the mobile app or e-receipts from travel bookings. These are not P-card transactions and should not be submitted as P-card expenses. P-card transactions are imported from the bank and will have the payment type Bank of America MasterCard Purchasing Card. Typically, these will be found in your auto-generated statement reports. However, occasionally they will end up in your available expenses list. P-card expenses will need to be moved to a statement report to be reconciled. To do this, select the checkbox next to the expense, then choose Move to a new report. For your remaining expenses, select the receipt image icon to review the receipt details. If the receipt should be attached to a P-card transaction, move it to the appropriate report and merge the items. If it is for a cash out of pocket expense, we'll talk about how to add it to a reimbursable report later in this presentation. If the receipt is a duplicate or it is no longer needed, you can delete it from this list by selecting the checkbox next to the expense, then selecting delete. Finally, under available re receipts on your expense page, you can select the tile to upload receipts from your document library or view and manage receipts that have already been uploaded to your account. When you're reconciling reports, these receipts will be available to easily attach to your expenses. To reconcile a statement report, select the tile for any statement report showing is not submitted on your expense page. Within the report, you will see a list of your P-card transactions for the statement report date range. To edit an expense, select the checkbox next to the expense, then select Edit. Expense alerts will be listed at the top of the screen. Red circle alerts indicate that something needs attention in the expense details before the report can be submitted. 
Yellow triangle alerts are warnings to bring attention to something that may need to be fixed, but will not usually prevent the report from being submitted. In the expense details section, check and update the expense type, enter a business purpose, ensure proper department coding, and add a comment if needed. Then select upload receipt image. From the pop-up that appears, either choose an available receipt by selecting attach, or select the tile to upload a receipt image from your document library. When the receipt image is attached to the expense, select Save Expense at the top or the bottom of the screen. Before submitting your report, take a final look at each expense listed in the report. Alert details can be, be reviewed by clicking on the icon in the expense line. If everything looks good, select Submit Report at the top of the screen, then select Submit Report again. A Submit Confirmation will appear, and the report status can be monitored from your expense page. Before we dive into creating a reimbursable report, let's go over some of those FAQs on how to reconcile expenses that aren't as straightforward. Each of the next four items we will review can apply to expenses in statement reports or reimbursable reports. The first item we're gonna to touch on is cross-charging an expense or charging an expense to another school or department. From within the expense, we're gonna modify the field or SC operating unit, and department fields. Start by clearing the information from the field or SC and selecting the appropriate value from the dropdown. In the operating unit field, enter the five-digit cost center the expense should be changed to, and then select the value that appears at the bottom of the dropdown. Finally, simply click in the department field without entering any information and select the value that appears at the bottom of the dropdown. Review the expense details, and if everything looks good, choose Save Expense. Now let's take a look at allocating an expense, which means splitting an expense between two or more schools or departments. From within the expense details, select Allocate. In the pop-up that appears, choose whether you want to split the expense by percent or amount, then select Add to enter the details for the first allocation. Follow the same process we went over for cross-charging to add the school or department details, then select Save. Continue adding allocations until all of the schools or departments are listed, then enter the amount or percent to allocate to each. For this example, I chose to allocate 50% of this expense to each school. Ensure the amount and allocated amount match and there are zero dollars remaining. If you'll be using these allocations frequently, you can save as a favorite for faster reconciling in the future, then choose Save. When you want to split an expense between two or more expense types, you will need to itemize the expense. To start, select the Itemizations tab next to the expense details, then choose Create Itemization. Choose the expense type and enter the amount for the first itemization, then select Save. Continue adding itemizations until all of the expense types you need are listed. Ensure the amount and itemized amount match and there are zero dollars remaining, then choose Save Expense. Our final FAQ is how to add attendees to group expenses. Attendees are required when choosing a group expense type such as business meals, staff meals, and employee relations. Start by selecting attendees from within the expense details, then choose Add on the next screen. In the pop-up, you can choose to select attendees from a list of your recent attendees, add new attendees, 
or select from attendee groups you have saved. For this example, I'm going to search for a new attendee. Select employee as the attendee type unless you are entertaining a business guest as a rare exception. Enter the employee's last name in the search field and then select their full name from the dropdown. You'll receive a confirmation that the attendee was added and you can continue searching for and adding additional attendees. When you've added all attendees, select close. Review the list of attendees and if everything looks good, select save at the bottom of the screen. A little tip, if you'll be using this list of attendees frequently, before saving, you can create an attendee group for faster future reconciliations by selecting all attendees and choosing create group at the top of the screen. Now let's dive into how to submit your cash out of pocket expenses. Before using your personal funds for business expenses, please make sure you review the company reimbursement policy and get approval from your manager. A reimbursable report can be created by selecting start a report from your home screen or create a new report on your expense page. On the next screen, fill in the report name and business purpose, then select create report. From within the report, select add expense. Then choose from your available expenses or create a new expense. For this example, I'm going to create a new expense by choosing an expense type from the dropdown. After selecting an expense type, you'll be taken to the expense details page. Here, you'll enter the transaction date, the vendor description, the amount, and the business purpose. Then select upload receipt image to attach a receipt. For reimbursable expenses, please be sure to attach a detailed itemized receipt listing the total amount paid and the payment method. Your report may be returned for additional information if your receipt does not match the information listed in your expense details and if it does not show that the expense was paid out of pocket. Review your expense details, ensure your receipt is attached, and then select Save Expense. You can continue adding expenses to report by selecting add expense from within the report. If you'll be submitting reimbursable reports regularly, it's important to combine as many expenses as possible into a single report and submit only one report every one to two weeks. Let's assume the expense we added for fingerprints required driving your personal vehicle to the appointment and look at how to add your mileage to the report. Select Personal Car Mileage from the Expense Type dropdown. Then enter the transaction date, business purpose, from location, to location, and the distance in miles. Another option, if you're like me and you never remember to note your mileage when traveling for work, you can utilize the system's mapping tool by selecting Mileage cal Calculator at the top of the expense details. Enter your waypoints on the next screen and then select add mileage to expense. Your from and to locations and the distance will be populated in the expense details page. So re review the information and if everything looks good, select save expense. Review each expense in your report and if everything's good, select submit report. Then select Submit Report again, and a Submit Confirmation will appear, and the report status can be monitored from the Expense page. The SAP Concur mobile app has many features that can assist with the expense reconciliations, including Expenseit, a receipt uploading tool that can be used on the go and eliminates the need to scan receipts to your PC before uploading them to your account. To use this feature, open the app on your mobile device and select Expense It. Then align your receipt image in the window and click on the camera button. Review the image and either select Retake or Done. After selecting Done, 
verify the receipt amount is correct or select incorrect and enter the correct amount. Finally, select next receipt to scan another or done to finish up. When the receipt completes the analyzing process, it will be listed in your available expenses. Finally, let's take a quick look at how to access and update your profile settings. From your home screen, select profile in the upper right corner, then select profile settings. Here you can access a variety of profile setting categories to customize. Today we're going to focus on how to manage your expense preferences and expense delegates. You can manage when you receive email notifications in your expense preferences. It is recommended that you at least choose to receive email notifications when the status of an expense report changes and when an expense report is submitted for approval. In your expense delegates profile settings, you can add or remove your own delegates or remove your delegate access to another user's account. 